moving into domination on strike zone, which this team just looks like they're super good at winning this close range gunfights. Yeah, yeah, they are. And uh, I mean, you predicted NRG, right? Duff? I did. Okay. I did. So unfortunately, your prediction not looking too good. No, unfortunately, but there's still not. time. Yeah, I mean, it's a best of seven. We still have more maps to go. This is just uh, the fourth map of the series, but it is a domination. That's something to keep in mind. So it's going to be a respawn game type, and I mean, relapses really dominated the respawn game type so far. If only had blitz and domination, they won a domination by 30 points, then they're actually able to win this last one by, I believe, what is it, uh, four points. They were able to win the blitz by four. So, I mean, they've been doing an excellent job of uh, really taking over the respawn game types. S&D, they struggled. They was six to two. Oh, NRG yeah. absolutely just dominated that. I mean, with uh -huh. Gast really just putting the team on his back, even though, like I said, it was great all-around team effort. But, I mean, he, like, dropped double-digit kills and all of that, really picking up some good kills, too, at the start of the rounds, getting some first bloods. But now it's domination. They need to focus on this one and try to get this win, strike zone, one of the more flukier maps for domination. Yeah, this is um, a lot of pros and top AMs that I know would call this a really, really online connection-based map. It's it's all about who's got a better connection is going to be the victor of the gunfights because this produces the same type of gun situations. Almost everybody's going to rock an MTAR or a Vector, and uh, every once in a while you're going to see an AR, and uh, you know it's really going to come down to... Most teams, honestly, let's be real, most teams have the same amount of gun skill, especially when you get to the pro and top amateur levels. They have the same amount of gun skill, and sometimes it's, it really does boil down to who's host. We'll find out how it makes an impact. Do you know who's hosting this map, actually? Oh, I, I don't even know. I can't tell you. I know, I, I think it must be Torque hosting because NRG had their clan tags before. It's like, go, go, and all that. So I'm guessing it's going to be Torque hosting. Not entirely sure uh, if anybody in the chat wants to tell us, anybody like the any team owners or whatever in the chat, any team members. But I mean, uh, like I said, the strikes don't like the, the really think what I come, it comes down to in gunfights. Obviously, internet's going to play a huge factor as well as host. But right. I think it's really going to come down to like confidence. Like, how much confidence do you have in your own shot to really go out there and like get aggressive and challenge? I mean, like in my opinion, especially in respawn game types, when you get aggressive, that is going to get you to win games, especially in blitz. The team that's going to be super aggressive and wins all those gunfights, they're going to be the ones to come out on top most of the time. Right. So I mean, that's just really what it kind of like boils down to. But in strike zone with the spawns as well, one wrong movement by a player can completely flip the spawns and that could cause you to lose a flag i've actually seen it i'm not even sure what game is castor but i just picture it in my head where one team like they were having a three cap one over extended and then the spawns literally split between like a and b so they spawned in b and one spawn in a so they were able to get that and it completely just changed the momentum of the game so you really just have to be aware of your whereabouts obviously the more favorable setup that people have is going to be ac and that's just obvious look at that just look on the map in the pre-game thing that we see right now it's just one little closed area, and you're only going to spawn in that. If anything, you're going to spawn right there or in front of that B area. You're absolutely right, and uh, we'll find out how these two teams play against it. Let's get some predictions in the chat, guys. Yeah, definitely. Voice from Torque Relapse up to one against Energy Gaming. Energy dominantly taking that S and D. Dropping that blitz by four points. Moving on to domination, which seems to be Torque's strength. Can Energy pick up the W? They are hosting, as I did find out in the chat. Whoa! We'll find out if they're able to pick it up. I do see actually gassed from Energy with a Bulldog. We'll see how that pays off for the team. Which, honestly, I'm starting to see this a lot more prevalent, Dirk. A lot of pro I, I mean, I've seen Fizzerp use it. Um, I've seen Nadeshot use it. I've seen Clayster use it. I've seen a lot of big name pros use this gun in this map specifically in that b bomb site because that is all close range all day and i've seen some teams just shut it out let's see if it works out for gas i'm gonna want to jump on board with him to see how he works it out yeah someone i was saying the reason the game ended there grim ace said he went too hard as xbox froze but like we're talking about crazy weapons right now grim ace is using a honey badger that's why I was kind of like, whoa, like at the start of that. But like you said with the Bulldog, I think the first time I ever saw a pro player use that at the start of Ghost, I think it was Rambo who really just kind of like took that as like his own thing. Like there there would be pros tweeting, oh, no, I'm not playing eights if Rambo is going to be using the shotgun and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, the the shotgun is just excellent with it, and it works out for him, like you said, especially in those close quarters combat in that B area. 
Wow. Well, Gas is gonna have the help of Whale, and they're gonna gather that B flag rather quickly with a little bait and switch from Kitchen there. And now you're gonna watch Gas just stay here in B Dom. Hopefully, he's calling out, not pulling a Revan. He's got a player to deal with that's <laughs> passing right by him to the right. And if you guys know what I'm referencing, bless your heart, you just became my best friend. Missing players left and right, finds one with the Bulldog. Let's see if he can whip his puppy out here. We'll get daggered by Sex Pig. And they're still going to hold on to that B-Fact, taking their early lead, but your boys from Turek are going to try to make a play on it. Sex Pig also had a Bulldog. I'm not sure if he picked that up or had that as his primary weapon. No, he's actually going to be using an Entar as I just went up over oh. them off the spawn. But 17 to 9 right now. NRG getting off to a pretty hot start. Going to have control of C and B. And look at the kill feed right now. All NRG. Four players just went down in that kill feed. One is finally going to come up, and that is going to be Misi right there. So now he's going to try to make something happen. Two kills going down. Two NRG players are down. Three now. Gas is going to be left last alive in this B area, but he has the Bulldog. Let's see how long he can hold this off. Going to be able to pick up one. He wow. picks up two. Nice two-piece there by Gas, and that could have been a momentum swing. They would have got him. B would have been completely wide open. It absolutely would have been. Fortunately, Gas will lock it down. And not only that, Energy taking the lead early on right now. 33-17 here in the first couple of minutes. Time will dwindle down with 3.30 left. And I want to point out, Will is doing some major work. Not going off majorly in the KD column, but he has just been holding down some major points in the map. He's going to try to make a play on C here. Gas will drop, which means B is losing. This could be that turning point we're talking about. And actually, B will go neutral. Let's see if Torque can make a play and take over that B flag. Yeah, Will has almost talked a few shots there and could have been on the next episode of World Star featuring Fizzer. I mean, I think he used to do something like that. I just, uh, we know, all know the pro players like to get their little stream highlights because their reactions are priceless. Like, there was that one of Nameless where he just got absolutely warred and turned into, like, yeah. a big meme. Like, somebody crossed up the name Nameless and said Speechless just because of the look yeah. on his face. He was like, Stream! Wait, Stream, are you watching this? Are oh you my, watching this? I am in disbelief. That's brawling. <laughs> <laughs> That's like just like the reaction. So it's, it's just Brolic. always kind of fun seeing that guy. Yeah, I don't even know where Brawlic came from. Even right. every time I hear the word Brawlic, though, I do think of, of Nameless. It's just something like he would say something like that. NRG, though, fighting over this B flag as they swapped C for A. Still have the lead, though, 49 to 34. And Berserk will hop on that B flag and regain it. It's trying to stay alive as one player and has help. So they will keep A and B. And right now, two minutes left. Dirk, they're running away with this one. Energy looking really good on this domination strike zone. I'm going to be calling out Gourmace right here. Currently, 1-6 and six has been using a honey badger this entire game. Has not been doing much for his squad. So I'm hoping that maybe on the second side, since it's still like 1 minute 45, this, this kind of like over, I guess you could say. Not really. But, I mean, he could make the switch. But I think it's time for him to just put that honey badger to rest and then pull out a weapon, maybe just like an Entar. I believe I saw somebody actually running an AR, but I think they may have put that away. I'm not sure it was. It was someone on Torque at the start. It's actually... Grimace is actually using an AR, isn't it? Honey badger's an AR, correct? Yeah, yeah. He is using an AR right now. And Torque, in the meantime, will regather A and C. And they've got that little B spawn trap. That we're so fond of and uh, currently losing C. Sex Pig will try to make something happen. Finds one, gets shut down. And finally, your boys from Energy will break out of that B spawn and gather C yet again. But not before Torque will dwindle that lead that was by about 30 points down to within 15. So huge plays here in the final minute. Torque's going to be in a little bit better of a position to try to bring it back against NRG, who are up right now 71-56. Actually, gonna take back a little bit from what I said at Grim. I did not see his captures. He has three captures, yeah. but I mean, along with the captures, if you're not helping your team with some kills, it's really yeah. not gonna do a whole lot for you. But I mean, three captures, basically, it's a, basically a game high. The only person that's close to him is Gast of NRG. So he's doing some OBJ work, and he's gonna pull out the MTAR here now. It would pick up a kill there. Now he's gonna be going for this A flag. 25 seconds left. 81 to 62 is currently the score of this one. He's going to get taken out, but A is now neutralized. And something I, we haven't noticed, like seen, nobody has really gone for that CA setup. Nobody. No. I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. No, Torque had it there for a short amount of time, but Energy was able to break out of it. And they've just been rotating flags so flawlessly here on this Domination Strike Zone. And it's going to pay off here on the first side. 88 to 68. It was from Energy with a 20-point lead over Torque Relapse, who, with the first time we saw these guys play Domination, went down by 16 against Torque. So Energy 
bringing it back. Keep in mind, they are hosting. So could it be playing on Factor on a, on a map that is historically known as a connection-based map? Well, it seems to be energy up top. Raptor, 15 and 10. Berserk, 16 and 12 will be your superstars. But check out the capture call, 3, 4, 2, and 2. Like I said, this team just rotated from flag to flag, and they executed perfectly, Dirk, and that's what allowed them to out-cap your boys from Torque, ultimately taking the win on the first side. Let's see if Torque can answer back on the second. My prediction is that they won't be able to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's great for us too. 88, 68. Those who struggle on math, like myself, it's such <laughs> easy to do the math. Only math. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here like when I saw that score, I was like, please don't be someone confused it out, make me use the calculator. And it's like 20 points. I just sat there. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Pull out my abacus real quick. <laughs> do the math. <laughs> I tweet saw out the stream, guys. Make yeah, sure you saw me tweet that. that. <laughs> There's this I picture of a baby playing with an abacus, and if you're if you if you have some sort of intelligence in the stream, you know what an abacus is. It's like the old school version of the a calculator. Chinese, I, the history yeah. behind that is like the, what the Chinese used to use to yeah. count with that little thing. Exactly, and it's old school. And uh, I tweeted out, and I was like, "Me casting over domination," and it's got that picture because yeah. I screw up the math so much. Even though I was like an AP calculus student throughout high school, Bro, through my, in my high junior school, year of high school. <laughs> in high school, I took the easiest possible class because I know if I got into any advanced math class. Oh my, oh my god i'd be completely done i just struggled with math how it was like i See, used to be I, okay with it but ugh. i was good at math but i hated math it was such a weird it was a weird little situation i absolutely dreaded it but i'm really good at understanding processes and that's literally all math is it just teaches you to solve problems in a step-by-step -step process for which oh. though i am a god speaking of gods We've got your boy producing the show. Shout out to John. This wouldn't be possible without him. So make sure you guys give a follow to him on Twitter at PA uh, underscore John T. Doing a great job. This wouldn't be possible, like I said. And uh, shout out to the sponsors. Honey Badger, Gamers Edge, drink VC, fearless. Eyewear. Stop yeah, frying your eyes. Drink fearless <laughs> and stop frying your eyes. I'm not going to give you the big spiel like uh, Dirk or Putrid would. But uh, let's jump on board with your boys from Energy. We'll take on their early kill from Berserk here. They're only spotting over onto A, and it's gonna be your boy Gap. Gap that Bulldog yet again heading to B. Yeah, Berserk picking up a nice two-piece already to start off this game. Gonna be controlling this courtyard for this NRG squad. They do have A. Now two players from Torque are gonna be inside B trying to get this control. The player who did just get taken out there is gonna be Raptor with Sex Pig picking up that kill. So now they do have this CB set up, but now somebody already did overextend from Torque. And I believe that player is actually gonna be Grim Ace right there. So now they do have C and B. Did I look at that wrong? Or no. did it just like no, bug out it. for me? Okay. You got it. C and B in favor of Torque, and they'll start to run away with the lead. A turn of events. It seems as they flip spawns in Torque right now, just dominating the map, and they're set up perfectly. If you look at your mini map right now and all your blue triangles, they've just got control. NRG, though, trying to push through Pro Shop to rotate over to C. They will do it. Let's see if they can pick up some wins. They do. And right now, Will's going to try to fend off anybody coming out of B so they can capture that C flag. And here comes NRG trying to get this AC setup going, but there's going to be a few players pushing out of wow. B, trying to be that nuisance, and now they do have it. AC is in control, but let's see if they're going to be able to pick up these kills here. But now if you do look at the map, there's going to wow. be players from Torque who are going to be able to push out Sex Pig. Is the player going to be able to be on A, trying to get that neutralized, but he's not going to be able to do anything there. I mean, just great defense right now from what we're seeing at NRG, but as I say that, three players are going to go down. Berserk is going to be left last alive, but now his teammates have finally start to spawn back up. I mean, NRG slacking just a little, off to a kind of a slow start. Torque is uh, obviously the score shows it. Only a four points separating both these teams. But I mean, Torque right now, they're in a bad situation. Again, this setup is looking even better for NRG, even though there's some Torque players kind of floating around the map. Well, you oh, said it. You oh. know, three players went down from NRG there after split. Fortunately, they spawn in such amazing places because Torque did not push out of that B spot. They're going to pay for it because it's going to allow your boys from NRG to reduce the deficit. Not only that, NRG is going to take the lead here, 36 to 34, and they are just going absolutely off right now. Berserk on a three streak, Raptor on a two as well. Berserk is 11 and two, Dirk, and he's just absolutely causing some major damage against that Torque Relapse team. Berserk is going berserk. 
had to do it. Sorry. He said regretfully on a live stream. I, I'm sorry. I just had to. It's like yesterday when. We